Today I will show you how you can move a skeletal mesh and how you can use its own animations in Matinee. So first of all add your skeletal mesh to a level. So we'll just try and drop this one here onto this plate here. Then go to Matinee and click on to add Matinee. Now do a right click onto the empty space and choose a new M2 group. Then type in a name, for example test and enter. Now go back into your level and select the skeletal mesh. Then with the skeletal mesh selected go into the empty folder and do a right click onto it, go to actors and then just select add selected actors. Now do another right click onto our folder here and then choose add new movement track and another right click onto the folder and choose add new animation track. Ok, now we can animate and move our character. So first of all, first of all select the movement track and then we will just drag this one here to the end. Oops, sorry. The green button here to the end. Now we we'll press enter the first time to set the first keyframe. Then we will move this to the end here. Then we we'll drag and drop this to the front. And then we we'll press enter again. And now you can already see here, he moves forward. But as you can see, with no animation. And now we will add the animation. So click on to anim. Then press enter. And then this window here should appear. So here you can choose your animation. So we'll just type in, let's say, walk. And then I will choose this one here. And you can already see in here, there is our animation. And it just lasts until the first second, as you can see here. And then it just stops. And now we can also loop it. Therefore, we just have to click onto this little arrow here. And then you can see, set looping. And now, as you can see here in the level, it moves. Okay, yeah, so that's it. That's a basic form how you can do that. Of course, you can create a much more complex one, as you can see in the Elementor demo and so on. But I will just keep it simple now. And that are the basics, so you can also add a turn or a jump and so on. But in my case, I will just let him walk from here to here. So now we close this one here. Then I will go to the blueprints and then I open up the level blueprint. Now I select our matinee actor. Then I do another right click. And here we'll just type in play. And then I will add the play. Then of course a new event. So do a right click, add event. And then let's say event begin play. And we will connect this one here with play and compile. And now we can already see here. He moves. And yeah, as I said, you can create cutscenes with that and any other stuff. But that's just a basic form how to do that. Now you know it. And yeah, thank you for watching and until next time.